welcome to the knowledge of research. Today we are going to learn what is hypothesis, necessity of hypothesis, characteristics of good hypothesis, how to develop hypothesis, types of hypothesis. What is hypothesis? Hypothesis is a tentative relationship or a testable assumption or prediction or conjecture between two or more variables which gives a direction to a research. So hypothesis is a tentative relationship that can be tested in a research. Hypothesis is a propositional statement to assume something or certain occurrences without supporting empirical evidence yet. Hypothesis is a supposition made on the basis of limited evidence as a starting point for further investigation. Hypothesis is a tentative and logical prediction or conjecture about the relationship between two or more variables expressed in the form of testable statements and studied in the research. So, it's one kind of proposition or prediction or supposition which can be tested. Necessity of hypothesis. Hypothesis provides a direction to the research, helps in focusing to the research, helps in devising research techniques, prevents from visionless research, it indicates the types of research design, predicts the expected outcome of the research. Characteristics of good hypothesis. A good hypothesis explains what is expected to occur. It should be clear and understandable. It should be testable, must be measurable, and in a good hypothesis, the independent and dependent variables are clearly specified. How to develop hypothesis? The first one states we need to find out the details information through literature review on the research topic. Then we need to think about a question which is still need to be answered. After that, we need to gauge the possible answer of the question. Then we should form the hypothesis from the possible answer of the question from the literature review. Now we are going to see the types of hypothesis. Null hypothesis, directional hypothesis, non-directional hypothesis, causal hypothesis, simple hypothesis, complex hypothesis, empirical or working hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, logical hypothesis, statistical hypothesis. So these are the some types of hypothesis. What is null hypothesis? Null hypothesis indicates that there is no relationship between dependent and independent variables that the researcher compares on a certain variable. A null hypothesis is a hypothesis that expresses no relationship between variables. It negates association between variables. Generally, we denote null hypothesis as H0. Example, Academic performance of students will not be affected who participate in extracurricular activities and those who do not participate. So, whether a student participates in extracurricular activities or not, there is no effect in the academic performance. So, it is indicating that the variables have no relationship. That's why it's a null hypothesis. Another example poverty has nothing to do with the rate of crime in a society. So, there is a negation of relationship that property has nothing to do with the rate of crime. Another example, literacy has nothing to do with the rate of unemployment in a society. So here it is indicating that literacy has nothing to do with the rate of unemployment. Now we can see directional hypothesis and non-directional hypothesis. Directional hypothesis indicates the exact nature of the relationship between the variables. On the other hand, non Directional hypothesis indicates a relationship between variables but do not specify the exact nature of the relationship. If we see the example of directional hypothesis, we can see that students who participate in extracurricular activities have a lower CGPA. So this variable is indicating that if anyone participate in extracurricular activities, there will be a lower CGPA. On the other hand, the example of non-directional hypothesis is that the academic performance of a high school students is related to their participation in extracurricular activities. So 
Here just indicating that there is a relationship, but what is the exact nature has not been explained here. What is causal hypothesis? Causal hypothesis specifies two aspects. Number one is cause and the other one is effect. Causal hypothesis states the degree of influence of one variable on another. So it will indicate the degree of influence. Researcher uses statistical techniques to demonstrate the presence of a relationship between the cause and effect. Example, high school students who participate in extracurricular activities spend less time studying which leads to a lower CGPA. Uh, here we can see that there is a lower GPA and the cause of this lower GPA is spending less time in studying. We can see simple hypothesis and complex hypothesis. A simple hypothesis reflects the relationship between two variables. One is independent and another is dependent variable. On the other hand, a complex hypothesis reflects relationship among more than two variables. So here, more than two variables, complex hypothesis, two variables, simple hypothesis. Example, smoking leads to cancer. So here, smoking is the independent variable and cancer is the dependent variable, one and one. On the other hand, in the complex hypothesis, the example is smoking and other drugs leads to cancer, tension chest, infection, etc. So here, two independent variable, three dependent variable. That's why this is complex hypothesis. Empirical hypothesis. Empirical hypothesis is that one which is applied to field. Empirical refers to the use of working hypothesis that can be tested using observation and experiment. It is also known as working hypothesis. I mean, empirical hypothesis is also known as working hypothesis. Working hypothesis can be any hypothesis that is processed for work during the research. Alternative hypothesis. Under alternative hypothesis, firstly, many hypotheses are selected. Then, among them, one is selected which is more workable and most efficient. If the working hypothesis is proved wrong or rejected, another hypothesis is formulated to be tested to produce the desired results, which is known as alternate hypothesis. Alternative hypothesis is denoted by H1. Here we can see. There is a hypothesis the race of the person have an effect on one's educational attainment so this is a hypothesis if this hypothesis prove wrong then we need another alternative hypothesis that is economic class of one's parents have an effect on one's educational attainment so if the first one became rejected then we can alternatively use this hypothesis that is called alternative hypothesis Logical hypothesis. A logical hypothesis is a proposed explanation possessing limited evidence. If we want to turn a logical hypothesis into an empirical hypothesis, we need to put the theories or postulation to the test. Here you can see there is an example. Cacti experience more successful growth rates than tulips on Mars. So this is an example of logical hypothesis. Here, until we are able to test plant growth in Mars ground for an extended period of time. The evidence for this claim will be limited and the hypothesis will only remain logical. So this is a hypothesis. Until we are able to test it, it will be a logical hypothesis. Statistical hypothesis. Statistical hypothesis can be verified statistically. The statement would be logical or illogical, but if statistics verifies it, it will be a statistical hypothesis. It can be any hypothesis that has the quality of being verified statistically. Any hypothesis that can be verified statistically is called statistical hypothesis. Here we can see two types of hypothesis. One is univariate hypothesis, other one is bivariate hypothesis. Univariate hypothesis is also known as descriptive hypothesis. On the other hand, bivariate hypothesis is also known as explanatory or causal hypothesis. So what is univariate hypothesis? A descriptive or univariate hypothesis contains only one variable. So it is called univariate hypothesis. On the other hand, explanatory hypothesis is used to test the cause and effect relationship between two or more than two variables. I mean independent and dependent variables. Example of univariate hypothesis is the age of employees of the organization is increasing. 
So here one variable is age. On the other hand, the bivariate hypothesis example is increase in age would lead to decrease in the organizational commitment. So here the age is the independent variable and commitment is the dependent variable.